Hi guys! As businesses and homes increasingly rely on network connected devices, PoE has become a popular choice for simplifying cable installation and powering your devices. However, building a PoE network can be a daunting task. So this is where unmanaged PoE switch comes in. It offers an easy and cost-effective way to expand your network and power your devices. So today, let's take a closer look at how you can build a PoE network using an unmanaged PoE switch. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and we will be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows the network cable to carry both data and electrical power. And this means the devices such as the wireless access point or IP cameras, of course they have to be PoE compatible devices, can be powered through the same Ethernet cable that connects them to the main network, It can eliminating the need for a separate power cable and also simplify the installation. Using PoE technology has many advantages. It can also increase the flexibility, which can make it easy to add or remove devices within the network because you don't have to worry about the power outlet. And last but not least, it is perfectly safe PoE technology is using the low voltage DC power, which is safer than the traditional high power AC, so it can reduce the risk of electric shock. And without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and check out our setup for today. So today we are going to connect two IP cameras and wireless access point using the PoE switch. Now the PoE switch and common network switch are actually similar in that they both serve as the central hubs for connecting multiple network devices. The key differences between the two are power delivery, capacity, and managing. Remember, PoE switch can eliminate the need for a separate power set for your edge devices. But PoE switch also come with variety of types. They are managed and unmanaged. So you might wonder, what are the difference between them? A managed PoE switch can offer advanced network management capacity and can be configured through a web interface, but also it requires more technical knowledge. On the other hand, a managed PoE is designed for simple plug and play use and have no configuration options. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So this is the monitor and the network video recorder. The images will show up later on after we connect it with the IP camera. So this is the router to provide the main network. I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router with the NVR first. And then using another Ethernet cable here to connect our main network router with the PoE switch. Now, let's come over and take a look at the PoE switch. It has 16 ports in total, and each port has 30 watts maximum. And those two are the uplink port. You may wonder, what are those? Those are the SFP slots. That means it can also connect with the fiber optic cable. And on the back, we have the AC adapter here and the grounding spots over here. And now, let me power it up first and plug it into the uplink port. And this is the CCTV mode. If you turn on the CCTV mode, you can extend the distance for 250 meters. However, the signal will drop down to 10 megabit per second. So let's turn back to the default mode. And I'm going to connect two Ethernet cable here so we can connect to our edge devices. And since we have 16 of them, so you can put it wherever you want. And those two Ethernet cable are connected here. Let me try the wireless access point first. I'm going to use one of the cable and plug it in here. 
This wireless access point is PoE enabled. Here we go. And we can see the indicated lights is getting on. There are no extra power source needed, only the Ethernet cable. So now I'm going to connect the IP cameras. I'm going to connect two of them using the two Ethernet cable in here. And you can see the indicated lights are on. Let's see if there's images. Let's give it some time. All right, the images are alive and you can see my hand. Can you see my hand? Waving at the monitor. All right, so the whole setup is done. So here are a few more tips for you. Our unmanaged PoE switch today has total 185 watts of power budget and each port can provide up to 30 watts of power and it can also support up to 1000 megabit per second. So it can also connect with not only PoE enabled devices, but also non PoE devices, but only it will transmit the data, but not the power. And also this is a 16 port. We also have four and eight ports and different types and commercials, outdoor and industrial type. It depending on the environment that you're going to install the PoE switch. And make sure you use a pure copper cable during a PoE connection because copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. But it will have 328 feet distance limitation in a PoE installation. So you have to be careful with that also. And if you want to know how to use a P managed PoE switch to install with multiple IP devices, you can watch the video right here. And thank you so much for watching us today and I will see you next time.